Okay, so what we know is that we've got 0 0.250 kilograms of water at an initial temperature, 20 degrees. We've got 0 0.400 kilograms of aluminium at an initial temperature of 26 degrees. And we've got 0 0.100 kilograms of copper at initial temperature of 100 degrees C and we're asked to calculate the final temperature. So we know that no heat is transferred into or out of the system. So the total heat transfer is equal to zero. So this is equal to the mass of the water times the heat capacity of the water times the change in temperature of the water, which is the final water temperature of the water minus the initial temperature of the water, plus the mass of aluminium times the heat capacity of aluminium times the change in temperature of the aluminium, which is the final temperature of the aluminium, minus the initial temperature of the aluminium, plus the mass of copper, times heat capacity of copper, times the change in temperature of the copper, which is given by the final temperature minus the initial temperature of copper. Now what we know is that these final temperatures are all the same, because at the end, the system is in equilibrium. So we've got the final temperature, outside of the mass of the water times the heat capacity of the water plus the mass of the aluminium times the heat capacity of the aluminium plus the mass of the copper times the heat capacity of the copper is equal to MWCWTI W plus mass of aluminium heat capacity of aluminium times the initial temperature of the aluminium plus mass of copper heat capacity of copper times the initial temperature of the copper and so what we can do is divide by this to get our final temperature. So what we do then is we just substitute in all our numbers. Let's give ourselves a bit more room with that to substitute in. So the final temperature is equal to the mass of the water, 0 0.250 times 4186 times the initial temperature, which is 20 plus the mass of the aluminium, 0 0.400, times heat capacity of aluminium, which is 900 if we look it up, times the initial temperature of the aluminium, plus the mass of the copper, which is 0 0.100, times the heat capacity of aluminium, which is uh, copper, sorry, which is 387, times the initial temperature, which is 100, over these things. So 200, 0 0.250 times 4186, plus 0 0.400 times 900 plus 0 0.100 times 387. Solving this on the calculator, we get 23.6 23 degrees. So we'd expect the final temperature to be somewhere between 20 degrees and 100 degrees C, which it is. It's fairly close to the heat capacity of water because Sorry, it's very close to the initial temperature of water because the heat capacity of water is so much higher than the heat capacity of the other things.